my goodness. Yo, my eye will not stop tearing up. Wow, this hurts. It's the Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm um, from Kat Von D. PSA, if you do not know, do not really trust those little skin shade finding thing online. Okay, this is a PSA. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Ori Babe here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new on this page, hello. How are you doing? Welcome to Worry Babes channel. I hope you subscribe before the end of the video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me. I just wanted to chit chat with you guys, especially since we're in the second half of the year. Y'all know me, y'all know I like to give my little second half of the year, end of the year discussion, all of that. Um, so if you just like to listen to me talk, you know, talk about some stuff while I do my makeup, continue watching. One of the reasons why I actually wanted to do this get ready with me is because I got the new uh, Kat Von D. It's probably not new at this point. I don't know how long it's been out, but I've had it in my cart for a while. It's the Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm um, from Kat Von D. And this is what it looks like. It's really nice. Um, it's pressed powder. I've never used powder before, so like, I'm very, very excited to see how it's going to turn out. And I think I had seen a TikToker, um, this makeup TikToker do it. I don't remember her name, but if I'm gonna go ahead and search for it and put it down below if you guys want to check her out. I remember she's one that did the video of like how to contour your face based on your face shape. And so she had another video where she was like trying this out for the first time and it looked really good on her. So I was like, okay, bet. Let me go ahead and try a uh, powder foundation and see what it's given, see what it's about. And I think my expectation for this particular foundation is I want it to be light. Like I am actually looking for something that I can wear in summer and not die. So if this is a light foundation that just, you know, does full coverage, covers everything, but still like is not too heavy on my face or anything like that, this would probably be my uh, go-to summer foundation. So I'm very excited um, to see how this ends up looking. I'm not doing anything crazy. It's just gonna be a simple beat probably i'm going for like natural but we'll see how when i start i do not i'm not doing any eyeshadow though i just want i just want to put some something on my face um okay oh i got it out so i actually went to sephora y'all psa if you do not know do not really trust those little skin shade finding thing online okay this is a psa if you're one of those that's lazy like me and you don't really like going in store to try stuff out you just rather buy them online um don't use a sephora shade match for finding a foundation color because i did the shade match for this one and the color that it gave me on there was not what they gave me in store and i'm so glad that i actually ended up going shopping this past weekend because if not i would have gotten something that did not work for me like i don't know if you guys remember my I don't know if you guys remember my best skin ever review but this is not my color like this is not my color and I think it's because I used the shade match online like I should have just gone in person I mean I normally just mix it up to get my regular color now or to get my actual color now so I guess not too bad but honestly y'all if you're gonna go get your foundation just go in person so they can do the right shade for you honestly okay so nothing much has really changed from the last makeup routine video I posted like there's not really anything new that I do to my makeup. I be doing my makeup, so this is not gonna be a makeup video, okay? This is a chit chat, get ready with me video. Y'all, what is your least favorite thing to do whenever you're doing your makeup? Like mine is my eyebrows, like, I can never get them right. And don't get me wrong, sometimes my eyebrows come out, they come out great. But other times, my God, I can't get them right for nothing. And sometimes it just gets very frustrating. Like, ugh. That's why I want to do microblading. Not necessarily for my whole eyebrows because I, I know I have a lot of hair. I know my eyebrows are full. But like for the ends, the ends are what I normally struggle with. And I just feel like microblading, it was just going to give it a structure. I'd be, it would just be right there so I wouldn't be have to fix ah. It would just be right there so I won't have to like be always figuring out oh which shape is it or how should it go or I don't know y'all I really I truly do not like doing my eyebrows that that much it's not my favorite thing to do 
and you might notice I am doing my eyebrows first this is not how I normally do it but because this is pressed powder I don't know something just said to do the eyebrows first so I'm following whatever that is cool 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 You know, if I do the microblading, it would literally ju be just to like fill this up so that I won't have to be redoing this thing every day. Like it would just be already there, you know? Alrighty, y'all. I am going to put the foundation on. So, let's see. I assumed I wasn't gonna use a blender, a beauty blender, so I'm using a brush. Okay. Interesting. So uh, it's very very light. Let me do this out. You all see the difference? Okay. I'm not mad at it, so let's see. Pretty sure I accidentally put something in my eye. Now this eye is. Okay, y'all, I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it at all. I am definitely impressed with how it goes on. It's very soft. Ah, what's going on? Okay, it's also very, um, what's the word? Because now it's in my eye and my eye. Okay, y'all, ignore my left crying eye um, because this hoe is not going to stop <sighs> twitching. Um, but I'm not mad at it. It looks very natural, I think. It's like, it's very soft. Does that make sense? It did say it came like with the, um, uh, what's it called, blurring effect or some shit like that. I remember reading that somewhere, so I can definitely see where they're coming from. Um... I really like how it sits on my face. No, I, I'm very impressed with how it sits on my face. Now, the ultimate test will be, you know, being out in the sun and seeing what's really up. But I'm not doing that today. So that's something that we're just going to have to try out next time. Let me know if you guys do end up actually uh, purchasing this though. Let me know how you guys like it because I think this is the first foundation I'm getting from Kat Von D. So maybe I need to get more of their products, but we'll see. Let me know how you guys like it. But yeah, the fact that we are in the second half of the year huh. it's kind of wild <sighs> because i feel like june literally flew like june came and it was gone within two days like li quite literally and i don't think july is going as fast but it's pretty much right up there with june and it's just like damn we're in the second half of the year like and i don't know it being the second half of the year just kind of like puts things in perspective like damn you know whatever you didn't get to finish in the first half of the year girl if you don't get on it right now 2021 is going to be over and you're going to be like oh shit i never good did it so if it's something that you really want to do this year this is time for you to start planning and trust me i'm talking to myself too because i have so many things okay not necessarily so many things um i do know what my next um business venture is going to be and it's something that I've always wanted to do so I'm just using now this second half of the year to really like plan everything out because it's probably gonna be like a one of those New Year's resolution but you know sometimes even resolutions need like planning up to them okay so I'm personally I'm using the second half of the year or I'm supposed to be using the second half of the year to like come up with 
the plan like reach out to the um, the appropriate parties like you know just put things in motion um, so that when next year comes I can just hit the ground running now as you guys heard me I said I'm supposed to be that's not what's currently happening which is why I just feel like the year is literally running because I'm like damn I'm not having the time to do what I need to do but I'm here to tell you that you have hella time okay the second half of the year just started so do not fret do not fret July literally just started we're on like what July 13th girl you be okay um, but the point is you need to start now though like you need to start now like start starting now for some people second half of the year might come with a whole bunch of changes like whether it be moving whether it be starting something new starting a new job starting a new school like starting a new chapter of your life like in all honesty i am very very glad to be done with school i'm very very glad to be done with school for now i should say um because not gonna lie i was definitely one of those um, African kids that was thinking you know after bachelor's master's after master's PhD after PhD whatever all that school shit uh, needs to be done but like my god y'all like that shit is tiring and I'm tired like I'm actually very very exhausted I'm very very tired like not even gonna lie UT on its own I was very tired like UT did me win it did me wang. Oh god, that school. I think maybe that's why I was so ginger so I could get out quite quick. Like that school just it, it showed me pep. <laughs> the school showed me pep pep. Like what? Even after then, I was still motivated to go to school. I was still motivated to do the whole master stuff and I not even gonna lie, part of that was fueled by not really knowing what the future held, so it just made sense to like apply for grad school because I didn't know if <laughs> It's okay y'all people do things when people make decisions when they can't really see what's ahead of them so me applying for grad school was really at first a means to make sure that oh you know if my contract with this job doesn't get extended I can have grad school money or whatever to fall on I think having contract got, got extended and all that and I still end up just going to the school but I'm just saying like after all of that it's just like honestly i don't want to go back to school anytime soon like i'm so glad to be done y'all it's so exhausting it's really a college is a scam i'm sorry but school is a scam i truly believe in just picking the classes that you want or like picking what you want to do taking those classes and then moving on with your life like i shouldn't have to spend four years where half of those years are me taking classes that I, I, I'm not using today like like that shouldn't be a thing like I can't wait till we either just throw away the whole college system or just come up with a more efficient way of getting people to learn the skills that they need not unnecessarily skills that unnecessarily not unnecessary skills that you think they're gonna need but they never really need it like it doesn't make any fucking sense to me it's a scam to get your money period if you realize that you actually don't need that degree or you actually don't need to spend those four years in school like don't do it don't do it I'm I'm te I'm an advocate I've done the bachelor's one I've done the master's one I'll probably do the PhD one I'm telling you if you don't think you need it don't do it and you're probably like okay then why are you telling why are you telling people that they shouldn't do it but you're over here listing all the things that you want to do unfortunately in this society that we live in they've they've structured everything to where you actually need those degrees depending on what you want to do so if you heard me correctly i said if you know you don't need it don't do it my brother he realized that yo i don't need to be in college for four years for what i actually want to do he went to a, a technical school and guess what he's good he's making his money he didn't do the four year shit he didn't do all of that unnecessarily spending he didn't do all of the loans the loans are really the most important things he didn't do all of that and he's good like he's 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 good so I'm here to tell you that the reason why I'm doing all of that is because I need it unfortunately bro if I didn't need any of this like for what I actually want to do like for my goals and stuff I do need the degree um so it really just depends on what profession you're trying to pursue it depends on what career you're trying to pursue with that being said I am very very excited to be done with my master's degree and like I don't know when exactly I am going to apply that degree um, 
I feel like this is taking me back to post grad and just not knowing um, and just being uncertain. And fortunately for me, I was already working before um, before going to school and then getting my degree. But I want to tell you guys that that whole post grad uh, post grad uncertainty is real. Like it, it's very very real. It's not something to be joked about. It's not something that doesn't exist. It's not something that exists only in the head. Like imagine coming from a place of structure like you've had let's say you were in college for four years like you've had classes monday wednesday friday you have the same classes tuesday thursday like you've come from this structured life like i go to class i go for my meetings i go for my organizations i go with friends whatever four years and then after you graduate um you're just like okay like like okay like forget oh maybe i don't have a job or i don't know what i'm doing after but like just going from that structured mind to trying to figure shit out on your own or like trying to make this whole new like trying to make this whole new schedule for you to follow in this new life it's like it's quite scary y'all i don't know i don't know because i remember that day like it was yesterday like the day after graduation my graduation actually did happen to be on a sunday i'd be or was it Saturday? My graduation was one of the weekend shafts that afterwards we went home. And I just remember like the next day I was just like, like, like what am I supposed to do? Like what, what, what am I supposed to do right now? Am I supposed to, obviously like besides eating and stuff, but where should I go? What should I do? What am I supposed to be doing? Like just not knowing how to tackle life after that is very, very, very real. And this is more so towards all of my um, new grads, my fresh grads, and my grads that are even coming up in this uh, summer and also fall. If you guys are feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling, you're like, oh my God, I'm literally about to go through a huge change, whatever, whatever. Do not fret y'all because literally just find out one thing that's constant for you. For you, it could be, oh, I've always just been close to my family, so I'm going back home. At least I know my family is going to be close with me. That could be one thing. It could be, oh, I've always just talked with my girls, so maybe we're just going to make up like a wine night, virtual wine night. It doesn't even have to be in person. Like something that you know that you can always rely on or something that you know that it hasn't changed in your life. So you feel like you have some sort of stability in this new life that you're embarking on. And honestly, for my people who might not even like know what the next steps are like post grad depression post grad anxiety post grad emotions they're very very real i want you to take your time love take your time sit in your feelings figure out what you're feeling how you're feeling how you want to deal with it you might you probably don't even need to figure out how you want to deal with it just sit in your feelings because let's face it you literally just finished four years three years two years however many years you literally just finished a good time period of whatever structure you had before so it makes sense for you to be anxious about okay what am i going to do moving forward or how exactly are these next few months next few years next few days going to play out it's definitely definitely okay to feel that way and at that time you just need to sit down and let yourself feel that way sit down and let yourself feel all of these emotions because trust me like you need time to process going from that structure to i don't know what the fuck i'm doing like you you really do and something that i've truly learned um i think i really learned this um while being a master's student it's just <sighs> take your time there's no rush because i'm 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 one to always rush i'm always rushing I'm always like, oh my God, I need to get this done right now. Or like, I can never, patience, <laughs> I have an issue with being patient. And honestly, what this master's degree taught me is, baby, you just need to be patient. Like sometimes you don't even need to stress yourself. Sometimes you don't need to have it all together at the same time. Like you literally don't need to know what's next at all times. So in that instance, all you need to do is just be patient with yourself. Take your time, love. And... I know people always say, you know, life is not a race. Everybody running at your own pace, whatever, whatever. And that's very cliche because you might be like, duh, I'm not really trying to run anybody else's race. But even within running your own race, you might be rushing yourself. So don't be rushing yourself, okay? Patience. Take your time. Let things happen as they happen. And so with that being said, the second half of the year, I know I already said if you have goals, you know, go into them, get into them, whatever, whatever. But love, 
if you're just not feeling it then don't rush it if you're not feeling it don't rush it if it's not something that you think oh you're doing it at the right time if it's not something that feels right that yes this is when i'm supposed to be doing it or you're feeling a bit overwhelmed you're feeling then just just put it to the side just put it to the side and take your time because trust me when it's time for it to happen it's going to happen like that's 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 it's going to happen everything is going to happen for a reason and so <laughs> for it to happen to the reason it was intended for for it to happen for the reason it was intended for it would most likely happen at the right time i don't know if that made sense but yeah that's pretty much what i want to talk about today you know we are in the second half and it might seem like you're running out of time to like complete your dreams or complete the goals for this particular um season or for this particular half of the year but even while you're doing that don't don't lose sight of the fact that yes you should still slow down and let things happen as they happen all right y'all i finished the rest of the makeup off camera because i was actually talking too much um but basically what i really wanted to get across in this video is that you know number one welcome to the second half of the year whatever happened in the first half of the year leave it there we're in a whole different mindset whole new time period whole new whole new chance basically and so just make sure that the second half of the year you're being intentional with what you're doing um of course try to achieve those goals those um aspirations that you have but make sure that you're not you know burning yourself out you're not rushing yourself you're not um speeding things up more than they need to be sped up um you know relax <laughs> take your time take your time with whatever you decide to do take your time with yourself take your time with your friends um, I feel like essentially we're still recovering from last year we're still recovering from 2020 let's be honest like I'm pretty sure how many months ago is when we just stopped wearing masks over here in the United States so like it's okay to give yourself time to slowly acclimate back into society right it's okay to give yourself time to to figure out you know this new life because let's let's not lie like we were in the house for the whole of last year and so a lot of people haven't really wrapped their minds around that a lot of people lost a whole year it was kind of bleak last year a lot of things were gloomy a lot of things were just uncertain uncertainty was really the theme of last year and so with this year like I know we're in the second half of the year everybody might seem like oh it's time let me get my things done oh boo, 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 boo. i don't have time blah, blah 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 no you have you have time like take your time relax and you know now that we are able to at least celebrate with close ones at least celebrate with family at least like have a little bit more freedom and of course i am speaking with regards to the united states i know this is not the same everywhere i know that some people are still in lockdown even till now i know that there are still cases you know there are still cases that are happening of covid i know that people are still you know fighting this virus but for the ones that are able to you know hug their loved ones or just be in the presence of friends and family don't don't take that for granted okay it's it's very easy it's easier said than done to say oh you know tell your family members you love them tell this and this that you care about them you know blah 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 but you have to really just sit down and say today i'm being intentional with my words i'm being intentional with my actions i am you know appreciating like everything that i have despite what might be happening around me okay that's pretty much all i had to say today let me know if you guys have any questions regarding anything that i said the link to the makeup uh the cat von d uh, press powder is going to be listed down below thank y'all so much for tuning in uh don't forget to check out my other videos and i'll see y'all next time on worry bye y'all